just a few miles south along the legendary Adirondack Coast from Plattsburgh, New York, and you come to this lovely white sandy beach at Osable Point Campgrounds, framed in the background by Tremblow Mountain. Now, Tremblow Mountain is probably one of the smallest and lesser well-known mountains of the Adirondacks, but back in the summer of 1978, Tremblow Mountain was thrust into the spotlight of national attention when tragedy struck at her very summit. On the morning of June 14, 1978, the North Country awoke to headlines reporting a fatal helicopter crash on Tremblow Mountain. All seven crew members of the New York Air National Guard 102nd Aerospace Rescue and Recovery Squadron died when their helicopter slammed into the rocky summit of Tremblow Mountain. The rescue crew aboard their HH-3E Sikorsky, or Jolly Green Giant helicopter, tail number 85, like this one, were returning home to Long Island after practicing water rescues in Lake Champlain near the then Plattsburgh Air Force Base. But as Jolly 85 was passing Tremblow Mountain to the south, a thunderstorm rolled in, forcing the crew to turn back to Plattsburgh but they never made it. Jolly 85 clipped the bedrock summit of Tremblow Mountain before coming down hard, killing all seven aboard. Almost from that fateful day 40 years ago, it was hoped that a memorial could mark the crash site and that at the nearby VFW, another stone could memorialize the lost crew of Jolly 85. Over the years, no one at the 106th, especially people like these former members of the unit, forgot the tragedy and the hope to memorialize its crew. After all, it was the first fatal crash in the unit's history, which is the nation's oldest air rescue wing. When somebody pointed out that the 40th anniversary of the crash of Jolly 85 was coming up on June 13th, 2018 to be exact, the ball started to roll. Through internet crowdfunding, personal contributions, and support from the modern day 106th Rescue Wing, funds were garnered to make the memorials a reality. June 13th, 2018, 40 years to the day, a memorial service honoring the crew of Jolly 85 is held with all the respect and dignity befitting such an event. Wearing small yellow ribbons, the relatives of the crew came from their homes throughout the nation. For many, this day, this ceremony, this respect was closure while for others, it marked a new beginning. Yeah, I, I definitely grew up with the Air Force all around me and I, I joined it to kind of learn more about what my dad went through and what he did and kind of follow his footsteps and do the same thing. Today helps. Today's ceremony helped a lot. It, um, it brought back some sad memories, but it was closure. It was nice seeing the guys from the 106. So it, it, it's positive. It's, it's closure. You know, going to the top of the mountain and seeing the crash site and the, the monument they have up there was closure for, for us. So we kind of we kind of know where he is. <laughs> my middle namesake is Scott, so my middle name is Scott, and so I kind of carry on his a little bit a little bit of his legacy with having his name as my middle name. And my mother always told me about him and told me that I was connected to him through that. And I actually have a picture of him in my wallet, actually, funny enough, um, that was given to me by my mom. And so I always have him there in, in, in my wallet with the, uh, the same beret that we see on all the gentlemen today. Um, and it's, uh, it's special and I still have it with me to this day. I was given it probably 25 years ago, but I still have it to this day in my wallet. A flyover from the 106th Rescue Wing. 
The C-130 Hercules and the HH-60 Pavehop overflew the ceremony before heading on to overfly the crash site. Then they turned south toward home. Along a route, Jolly 85 might well have flown 40 years earlier, almost to the hour. The ceremony here at the VFW in Keysville lasted just a little over an hour, but the memories that were shared during that ceremony will last forever. People Near Here on Mountain Lake PBS is supported by Valcor Brewing Company.